The state government wants 65% of all household waste recycled in some form this financial year. And FOGO, or composting bins, are a big part of that strategy. But currently only 12 local governments offer the bins, meaning much of the waste is sent straight to landfill. Each day around 15 trucks dump waste from Food and Garden Organic, or FOGO, bins at this composting facility in Perth's south. The trucks deliver vegetable and food scraps, plants and the occasional unwanted item. It's the food and garden waste from 55,000 homes in the southern suburbs. In total, it equates to about 30,000 tonnes each year. But the centre has the capacity to process up to four times that amount. And ultimately, we could process probably 25% of the um, metropolitan area's FOGO. We're really waiting for local government to uh, pick the ball up and run with it. The composting process here is pretty simple. Once the waste is dumped, it's shredded, then sorted. The good gets separated from the bad. This is the final product made here at this facility, but it's not quite done yet. From here it goes on to another composting place where it gets blended in with other items to become part of potting mix. In Rockingham, where Madison Key lives, the council doesn't provide a FOGO bin. Instead, to compost her food waste, she's spent $600 on appliances that turn her scraps into compost chips. Chuck that in. I just thought I don't want the scraps going to landfill where they can't break down, buried under a whole bunch of rubbish. She wishes she could put her food scraps in with her garden waste. Definitely would have made it a lot easier. When organic waste goes to landfill, it contributes to methane emissions. We landfill about 20 million tonnes of waste in Australia and half of that is food, garden organics and other organics like pallets and timber and wood. Despite a 40% target, only 31% of all household waste, including compostable products, was recycled last financial year, even less than the previous year. The state government is aiming for 65% this financial year, but that's more than double current rates. And that could be tricky with just 12 of the nearly 140 councils in WA currently offering FOGO bins. Evelyn Manfield, ABC News.